Visual search is the ability of a system to recognize what's in an image and find visually or semantically similar content. Unlike traditional search, which relies on text input, visual search begins with an image and answers questions such as what is this or where can I buy something that looks like this? This goes far beyond just comparing pixels. Visual search requires machines to understand what they're seeing. At the heart of visual search is the idea of an image embedding. In a nutshell, an embedding is a vector representation that encodes the meaning of unstructured data such as text, image, or audio. They're essential because, as humans, we naturally recognize images and can easily tell if one image is similar to another. Computers, on the other hand, fundamentally work well with numbers and mathematical operations. If we want computers to be able to compare images based on their actual visual content, we need to find techniques that allow us to encode their meaning as numbers. Machine learning models, particularly convolutional neural networks, may be designed to learn hierarchical patterns in visual data. During training, they learn to recognize features, starting with simple edges and textures and gradually building up to more complex structures such as faces, objects, or scenes. Once trained, these models can take an image as input and produce a vector embedding that captures the most meaningful aspects of that image. This embedding becomes a numerical summary of the image's content and can be thought of as a point in a high-dimensional space. When semantically similar images are passed through these models, they will produce embeddings that are nearby each other in this space. By using these models to convert images into embeddings, we can now perform mathematical operations on them. For example, to find visually similar images, we simply compute the distance between their respective embeddings. The closer two embeddings are in this vector space, the more visually similar the images are likely to be. Embedding models form the foundation of visual search, transforming unstructured visual input into structured, comparable data and using that structure to power everything from product discovery to content moderation. Behind the scenes, visual search occurs in several key stages, starting with the transformation of raw images into embeddings. Before any search can take place, we need to use an embedding model to vectorize all images we want our system to be able to search through. In e-commerce, for example, those will be the photographs of the product. These embeddings, along with associated metadata such as product IDs, descriptions and URLs, are stored in a vector database. Vector databases such as Redis are specifically optimized for storing and querying high-dimensional vectors efficiently. They enable vector similarity search, which allows us to retrieve the most relevant results based on how close embeddings are to one another in vector space. Depending on the capabilities of the chosen database, they may also support full-text search, metadata filtering, and hybrid search, combining both semantic and traditional keyword-based retrieval to deliver more accurate and context-aware results. Visual search is transforming how systems process visual data across various industries, including retail, content moderation, and manufacturing. In e-commerce, users can take a photo of a product, which gets passed through an image embedding model, that model outputs a vector that captures the key visual features of the item, the system then uses vector similarity search to compare it against a product catalog, so that finally it can return the most similar results based on distance in the embedding space, along with relevant metadata like name, price, or availability. In content moderation, platforms utilize visual search to identify visually similar images that may violate their policies. New images are embedded and compared to a database of known harmful or restricted content. Even if an image has been altered, cropped, resized, or filtered, the system can still identify visual similarity through the embedding, allowing moderators to act on it more quickly and accurately. In manufacturing, visual search helps find and identify small replacement parts. Engineers can snap a photo of a part, whether it's the item itself, its packaging, or a label, so that the photo can be embedded and matched against a catalog of part vectors using similarity search. This approach speeds up part identification, reduces errors, and helps engineers work more efficiently, saving time and lowering operational costs. Finally, to build a visual search system, you first need an image embedding model. There are many open source and commercial options available that let you generate embeddings without having to train a model from scratch. On the open source side, models like Clip and ResNet are widely used and freely available through libraries like PyTorch, TensorFlow, or Hugging Face. These models are pre-trained on large datasets and can generate high-quality embeddings out of the box. 
Once you've chosen the model, you can start generating embeddings for your images and store them in a vector database to enable similarity search. From there, you can build search interfaces, connect metadata, and start integrating visual search into your application. If you want to see how easy it is to get started, don't forget to check our Redis AI Resources GitHub repository, which is filled with many AI recipes that is going to help you get started with AI fast. My name is Rafael DeLeo. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay curious.